Hello everyone and welcome back to my studio, The Pottery Corner, down on the south coast of England. Hiya everybody, uh, great to have you along as always. Um, last week we did a very quick kiln opening of just five items in the kiln which were all copper oxided and um, using the bullseye frit. So that was last week's video um, and I said that once I'd um, actually got back from my little trip in the caravan because we had a lovely time in Winchester. Thank you for all your kind messages saying safe travels, that was very nice. Um, so yes, we've been away and had a few days away in the caravan and I've come back and now I'm going to tackle the dreaded dremeling. Not my favourite task, I'm sure it's not anybody's favourite task, but as a potter it is a thing that we actually do have to do. So I've got the four seed heads that came out of the kiln I have a kiln shelf that has a lovely lump of glaze on it that needs removing and I have Jill's large planter, Ooh, I'll just show you that, uh, so I've got Jill's large planter that again came out of the kiln last week um, and there's just a little a couple of little white marks on here um, from cookies where the um, piece is actually just stuck to a white cookie so I need to get those off so we'll be getting those off as well. Uh, before I start I thought that I'd just run through what equipment I have got out uh, ready to use. Um, I obviously have my Dremel. So this is my Dremel. Um, it is, I can't even pronounce that. Is that Einhell? Yeah, I would say so. Um, yeah, good Dremel. I've had it for a while. Um, actually, the one that I had before this one, I'd had for a very, very long time. And then my husband used it and used it and broke it. Isn't that always the way? So he had to buy me a new one. So I have a newish, um, and it comes or it came with this box of um, accessories, none of which I can use because they are all sanding pads and um, drill bits and what have you. None of which I can use for my pottery. So um, I do buy. Um, on Amazon and I'll link it below. Um, I don't get paid to um, advertise Amazon things um, but nonetheless um, this is where I have bought them from and it's a little box um, that's the name of the uh, product and it comes in this box and inside are these are diamond tipped Dremel bits and they come in this little pouch um, and obviously you can see that I've used some of them um, and they have different shaped heads. Um, I like the ones that have this sort of um, teardrop shape on the end, but it doesn't really matter. Um, that I can use all of them that come in the pack. Um, there's one here with a slightly different shaped head. Uh, they work really well. You can use them more than once. Um, I tend to keep mine on until I think they've actually run out of steam and then I just take them off, throw them away. You can buy diamond tip Dremel heads. So this one is a Dremel diamond chip grinder. Um, so it's slightly different. Um, it's also about twice the price of this whole set. So hence the reason why I don't buy the genuine Dremel ones. You don't need to have a genuine part. These fit just fine and it, as I say there's plenty there for me to play with. So I'll link that down um, in the description box if you um, happen to have a Dremel and you don't have those. Um, I have a hammer for knocking off the uh, kiln cookies. I have a pair of my normal glasses and I also have a pair of safety glasses which I'm going to wear over the top I take no chances. I may look a bit silly, forgive the, uh, forgive the appearance, but I do not want to damage my eyes. So I always wear not only my ordinary glasses, but safety glasses over the top. So get yourself some safety glasses if you don't have any. It really isn't worth taking the risk with your eyes. Uh, the other thing that I have um, is a couple of pieces of foam and a towel. Um, which we'll talk about in a minute. And then I have a pot of water with an old sponge. So I don't use my throwing sponges for this. I just use an old tatty bit of sponge. 
um, and again you'll see why as we go along so that's basically what I've got out on the table and I'm just going to reset the camera and uh, we'll get on with it so I'm going to put my normal glasses on my readers as I usually wear and my safety glasses over the top of that uh, so that I'm protecting my eyes um, and as you can see there is quite a bit of glass on this sacrificial cookie um, it's really easy to get these off um, and I've, I've actually taken uh, two of them off already um, so you can see the nasty jaggedy edges of the um, glass that's on the bottom of there uh, so the easiest way to remove a cookie is to hold the piece firmly in your hand get a hammer and then I'm just going to tap and you'll hear the sound change when I tap um, as the piece comes away so I'm just going to move it round to the bit where the glass is which is obviously where it's most stuck and I'm just going to just tap it you can hear that it rings and then after a few times the tone changes to that and then if I tap it again it'll come off most of the time they come off in one piece so I'm just going to remove this from the other side this one's just going to chip off just to be awkward so having knocked the cookie off the bottom um, I'm just going to tidy that up um, I'm just going to use a piece of foam I'm just going to grab the hammer um, being careful of this top I don't want to break the top but I can just take off some of that very 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 sharp glass just by very gently knocking um, the piece with the hammer just so that it's not razor sharp we are going to dremel it in a minute so it's uh, it's fine um, and I have uh, the waste in my dustpan and brush and I'm just being very careful to make sure that all these glass pieces are in the dustpan and not on the floor especially as Mr Charlie's walking around so we don't want him to get anything in his feet okay so here is our piece without the um, cookie on the bottom I'm going to grab the towel and the foam and I'm going to pop this just upside down onto the foam being careful of the head because obviously this is quite delicate I don't want to break it uh, and the next thing to do is to get ourselves ready to actually do the dremeling so I have put on my safety glasses and my normal glasses now when you're drilling pottery it's important or indeed when you're drilling glass it's important to make sure that um, the surface is wet because when you grind you're going to be making dust um, and you don't want to breathe that dust in so um, I always grind wet so I have a damp sponge in one hand and my Dremel in the other um, I'm going to wet the surface and keep wetting the surface so you'll see me going backwards and forwards and that's the reason for the towel because you do end up with a little bit of water <laughs> Um, in your workstation so that's why I put the towel down and it doesn't matter it will soak the water up uh, right so this is going to get noisy um, so I'll show you what I do um, and we'll get we'll get on with it so I'm wetting the surface turn the Dremel on you're not going to be able to hear me speaking and I'll show you what I do then <laughs>
Right, okay. So as you can see, I've just taken the sharp edges off of here um, and I've run the Dremel right the way around this whole section inside and out to make sure that there is no glass that's going to cut fingers and I can run my finger around there without any problem. Um, there's no, there's nothing on there now. Um, and that, that's really all I'm going to do. So these are going out in the garden. Um, if somebody were to use it inside and they wanted to um, put it inside, I would suggest they put a little piece of felt or something on this surface here, just so that it doesn't scratch the furniture. Um, but that basically is it. So that's how it's left with no sharp edges and um, the glass just cleaned up around the bottom. So I'm just going to do a couple more. So I'll speed up the camera for you to see what I'm doing. So this one is mine. And as you can see, again, quite a nice lot of nasty glass on there. So I'm just going to do exactly the same process. I'm just going to tap it off with the hammer. This stops it from um, throwing itself up at you when you're dremeling. I don't want big pieces of glass hitting me either in the face or anywhere else. So I just take off what I can see like that and then just tidy up the workstation again so that I haven't got the glass. Um, so I have to make sure that's safe there. Uh, make sure that the glass is tidied up before I move on from there. So I'm just getting rid of that. And then again, I'm going to pull the um, pull the foam in and we'll go again doing this one. So nasty noise. Here it goes. Right, and again, I'm just going to um, check the edges. That's absolutely fine. So there we are, nice and clean. And I shall continue to do the rest of those. I also thought that I would just show you um, how to get glaze off of kiln shelves while we're here. So this is one of my poor kiln shelves. They do take a beating, they really, really do. And you can see there's a very large blob of glaze here. There's one, a little one there. There's a couple of little bits here um, and uh, indeed a crack in it for those eagle eyed, <laughs> my poor kiln shelves, they really do take a beating. So when they have um, glaze on them, obviously you have to be really careful if you're packing a kiln not to put a kiln cookie on there because it would fuse itself on. So I do like to make sure that the kiln shelves are clean and I do it in exactly the same way. So I wet the patch and then Dremel the um, glaze off. So I'll just do that just to show you. And I'm using this diamond tip flat, as flat as I can get it, so that I'm not gouging into my kiln shelf. Here we go. It really doesn't take more than a minute. Um, you can see the um, layers of glaze coming off. Uh, the glaze will always mark that you can't really get 
absolutely everything off but as long as there's no shine on the surface like this one here that I've taken off before um, it was obviously a dark glaze um, there isn't actually any glaze on the surface there so that one is fine I'm just going to spend a minute just uh, cleaning this up a little bit further but you get the idea if you use these diamond tips they're your best bet Right, so that's that done. I can take the uh, safety glasses off. I have just done um, the little bits and pieces on the rim of this one that needed doing. So that's all now nice and clean. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, it's really easy to use a Dremel to um, just take off anything you don't want on the bottom of your pottery pieces, i.e. glaze drips or whatever. I know that some people use angle grinders Angle grinders frighten me. It might be because I'm a girl. I'm sure that all the male potters watching will all say, oh yes, we're tough and we use an angle grinder. I'd rather keep all my fingers. So um, yes, I use a Dremel. Uh, it's very easy if you use the diamond tip grinding ends. Um, it really isn't at all difficult and it doesn't take very long. A few minutes will make all the difference to um, your pieces on the bottom. So I hope that's been helpful. Short and sweet this week. Kiln is on again. We've got another lovely sunny day here. So there's a glaze kiln firing as we speak. So as usual, lots and lots going on in the pottery corner. So I hope to see you all on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.